everybody, Ann here. I've already had my coffee, sorry, but I'm inside the tiny house and I've made some little adjustments in preparation for my parents getting here, so I'm going to show you what I did. There's the potty area for right now. I've just got a little drape covering it up, and I don't know if I'll keep the same color, you know, turquoise little sheet inside the room divider. Um, who knows what that'll turn out to be, and I am using the baskets now for clothes. I've got clothes in them. And there is my beautiful chair, my rocking chair that I love. That thing is so comfortable. Man, I'll be glad when I've got my walls up. And there's the bed slash couch. And I put that drape over it or the, the blanket over it so because Betty likes to get up there and sleep and whatnot. And I don't want her dirty paws all over the place. And there's my pretty window. And I am starting to utilize these baskets more. That one's filled with t-shirts, I think. And over here, I've got a little battery bank because I've, I've got no, you know, solar over on this side. Um, that may change very soon, though. So, I just turn on the battery bank and then the fan turns on. It brings cool air in. I've got one of these fans for each window and although the ones on the other side, I um, hook up to the solar power. And there's my messy solar power station and my fan. And look, Betty loves laying right in front of that fan. That's her favorite spot. So, yeah, I'll get that sorted out eventually. Uh, I may even end up putting it outside. I'm not sure. And those are my old little batteries. Um, Got to try and figure out if maybe I can still utilize those as well. And I've got my little sweepers right there. Um, once I get my walls in, I will actually probably hang them on the wall somewhere. And then the... That little one is filled with ice, and that one is with filtered drinking water, and it leaks a little bit, so I put it right over Betty's bowl, so she always has a little bit of water. Look at this. It's, oh, I need to put away those potatoes. What a mess. Yeah, there is my kitchen cabinet pantry thingy, and it's well stocked right now, and I am using the space underneath. And I'll utilize it even better very soon. And, oh, I've just got that drape kind of stuck in the door because there's a little gap. And I didn't want the little skinks to get in. They could probably still get in. but So I moved this over here. And this is not going to be permanent. It's just what's there for right now. Um, and I kind of like it a little bit better over here. Oh, and I wanted to show you, too. I, I moved that little pantry that I had here. Let's turn on some lights. There we go. You can see better now. I moved it over here because it fits really nice behind the door. I love my little signs, too. Now, none of this is permanent. Um, oh, and that's where, that is where the, the shelf unit my parents are bringing is going to go. And then there's going to be a little tree uh, tea table that's going to go right there. It's very small. It's not going to take up hardly any room. And, uh, yeah, so none of this is, uh, you know, permanent. Um, it's going to still change, but this is just the way things are going. And, oh, look at my patriotic curtains. Yeah, I pull them way, way, way off to the side when I cook. But I just really like the way that it looks, and I like the more open feel of taking that kind of, like, island out. And, uh... Eventually, when it's all done, it's just going to look really great. I know it's kind of messy right now, but... <sighs> oh, and over there, I'm going to put a drape over there, too, because that's where we sleep. So I'll put it against the, the uh, insulation. But I love it. It's just my happy place. I decided to go gallivanting out on my property today, and I found this plant. And it's so weird because somebody else mentioned in the comments section that their dad used to make a sweet drink out of sassafras. And look at we have here lots and lots of what looks like sassafras. And this here is the biggest one, the, the biggest bush or tree or whatever. And it just is pretty tall. Look at that. I bet you some of those big trees are sassafras too. And I pulled it up on PlantNet and guess what? Every single picture that I have I pulled up in PlantNet and they all came to this page. Sassafras albidum. And I looked it up in Wikipedia. It has a little Wikipedia link in it. And, yep, it says this is what this is. So this is really exciting, you guys. They used to use it in root beer. Um, it's made into a sweet drink. There's other medicinal uses for it. So I am just absolutely thrilled. I cannot believe it. Oh, and, yeah, of course, I had to pick up one of these while I was out in the woods. Yuck! 
While I was out gallivanting, look what I came home to. Looks like it's present time. All right, at least two of these packages were basically bursting at the seams by the time they arrived. So this one, I'm just gonna, I don't even need my knife. Oh my goodness. Ha ha ha. I think I know who this is from. I'm gonna verify it in a minute. Hang on. Hang on. Oh. Oh. It's chicken feed. It is a big dang bag of chicken feed. And it is Katie Laying Hen Poultry Feed. Okay. Now, let's see. Ooh. Put that over there. Okay, I think there's a note down here somewhere. Yes, there is. Whoops. Okay. La -la -la. Enjoy your gift. Hopefully this will help you get one step closer to getting some chickens. And I'm just going to give the first name from Kat. Thank you so much, Kat. I am very close to getting chickens. So close, I can just feel it. So this is... <sighs> this is awesome. Thank you so much, Kat. I mean, this is great. The next two boxes came from Walmart, and I'm pretty sure I know what they are. They, they were sent from a friend, and we'll just leave it at that. So let's open them. Actually, the other one I don't have to open because it's basically open. It's weird. I mean, the whole top of the box was just ripped open. So, I hope nothing is missing. Oh, 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 look at this. Snacks, I hope they're not all crushed. If they are, it doesn't matter because I can use them to make like salmon patties and stuff like that. So, there are two bags of toasted Ritz chips and these are gonna be delicious. Okay, put this off to the side. Oh yes, craisins, dried cranberries. There's been times when I've made apple wine and instead of the raisins, I put this in it. I've also used these in um, to make a Mellow Mel with mead, just to give it a little bit different flavor. Um, you know, I know that you're just supposed to eat these, but as soon as I see these, I think wine. <laughs> So, looks like it's time for me to get some honey. Oh, maybe not. Look at this. Two more things of apple juice. I can make some more apple wine and put the cranberries in it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is great. What's next? Oh. Now, these just came out. Totally came out. That's okay. Idahoan mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes, you can have them single serving. I can also take one of these and use it to thicken potato soup. I can also use it to thicken pea soup if I want to. So this is yummy. Idahoan uh, buttery homestyle mashed potatoes. Okay. Oh yeah. Yep, I need these. I love these. Um, these are double zipper bags. Uh, quart size zipper bags. So this is awesome too. I needed these. I have no more. I was starting to reuse my Ziploc bags. Oh, ho, ho. what do you know? Look at this. This is hilarious. <laughs> Four bags of split green peas. I absolutely love pea soup. Either green pea soup, yellow pea soup. I love it. You've seen me make it on the rocket stove, throw in some ham. It is delicious. Feel like it's my birthday. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, Scotch Bright uh, little scrubby thingies. Uh, scrubby on one side, spongy on the other. I need to take this to that cast iron skillet, that's for sure, or at least a lid or something, you know. So this is great. Thank you. Thank you. All right, what's next? A big Ziploc bag with seventh generation powered by plants free and clear liquid detergent. So this is great. I'm gonna be able to use it, of course, to wash basically everything. Um, spray it on plants, make a little mixture, spray it on plants. Hopefully that'll get rid of some of the bad bugs and stuff. And, um, and it won't harm plants. Okay, wonderful. 
Oh, I've got about a gazillion cans that are wrapped in this. So I'm going to unwrap them all and I'm not going to, I may not show you all of them, but I'll show you at least one of each of whatever they are. Oh my gosh, it looks like a pantry in here. Look at this. Look at all these. Can you see them? <laughs> all right, yeah, I'll show you what each of them are. This is, this is so awesome. Okay, I got three cans of light fruit cocktail in extra light syrup. And I love fruit cocktail. I love just opening up a can of this and just eating it right out of the can. Alrighty, pear halves. I've got pear halves in pear juice from Concentrate. Do you know what? The first thing that comes to mind is, can I make wine out of this? I don't know. I'm gonna have to check and see what the preservatives are because if there's, if there's preservatives in it, then it's not gonna make wine. Okay, so I got one, two, three, four, five of those, three of the uh, fruit cocktail, and this looks really interesting. In fact, when I'm done here, I think I'm going to crack one of these open. This is citrus, sal uh, citrus salad, red and white grapefruit, grapefruit and oranges in extra light syrup. I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six of these. So, yeah, I'm going to have one of these when I'm done here. Um, pair has, oh, and check this out. Chunk chicken breast four huge cans of it and they're all this pulled top I love it um, I love chicken this is fully cooked and all of this of course canned shelf stable so this is awesome okay now what I need to do is go get the big box <laughs> this next one um, it's it's in this big box it was completely open when I went to get it uh, it came from FedEx this is not UPS this is FedEx it was completely open so let's just <laughs> love these. Put these out on the side. Oh my goodness. Oh yes. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. She told me she was sending this, but it's just like it doesn't sink in when you when you somebody says, Well, I'm sending you these things. This check this out, you guys. Okay, first thing. See this here? This is a three-gallon water jug, and I am going to turn it into a big water filter. So I've already got the cheesecloth that can go in the bottom. Um, what else do I have? Well, I don't have the biochar. I don't have an, I don't, uh, basically this and the cheesecloth cloth is all I have. I still need the biochar. I can make some biochar. Um, I'm not out of my fire pit though because uh, there's nasty stuff in there. Um, I need a bunch of sand. Oh, no, diatomaceous earth. I've got that diatomaceous earth. I can use that in the filter. I think I still need a little bit of sand, though, um, to put after. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Um, and I need some pebbles and some rocks. So once I get all that, I'm going to be able to make this awesome, awesome water filter. And it's got a little indentation here. So I'll be able to just put my little... You know, put the, the fluid in through there, cut a little hole. So that is great. Okay. Oh, ho, 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 more peaches. Peaches. Peaches, yellow clean peaches. You know what? I want to make me some peach cobbler. Yep, peach cobbler. Okay. Uh, oh, ho, ho, ho. look at this. Fruit and cream flavor variety pack. Oatmeal, instant oatmeal. There's four strawberries and cream, four blueberries and cream, eight peaches and cream, and four bananas and cream. Oh, this is going to be delicious. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Look at all of this pasta. I got so much pasta. Penny pasta. I, this is my favorite pasta. My absolute favorite. And I've got four packs of it. All I can say is thank goodness my parents are coming with that shelf unit because I'm going to need it. All right. Man, I am not going to have to go grocery shopping for like six months. Okay, what's next? What's next? Oh, a big thing of black pe pepper. And I was this close to running out of pepper, so I got me some pepper. That is wonderful. Uh, another thing of clean peaches. Delicious stuff. And, oh, this is great. Four things of hydrogen peroxide. One, two, and there's two more in the box. I definitely could use this. You better believe it. 
um, with all the little bug bites that I've been getting and whatnot, my little wounds and whatnot. This is great, so thank you so very much. Okay, last but not least, now this really, really cracks me up big time. Look at this. A whole bunch of toilet paper. This is like, and this is my favorite toilet paper. If I can afford it, I like Angel Soft. 12 mega rolls equals 48 regular rolls. So this is going to be better. I'm not going to have all these little things hanging around all the time. <coughs> so those are my prezzies for today. And once again, very thoughtful. Um, I love all of this stuff. I'm going to be able to use all of it. And um, this is just wonderful. Thank you so very, very, very much, you very special friend. Um, God, I love you. Oh, I did just want to tell you that these chips are fine. Mmm. And they're delicious. They're not broken at all. So, I'm going to have me a little snack. And uh, get things arranged. I'll find a place for them. And uh, get the tiny house ready. My parents are going to be here tomorrow night. I won't see them tomorrow night. I will see them Wednesday. Um, and then we'll just kind of take it from there. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.